As an agent, the biggest challenge is asking the question, where is our lead coming from? Where is our lead sale coming from? Because there's something called the roller coaster of feast or famine. A feast meaning when we have a closing, we have a sale. And famine meaning where's my next deal coming from? Because in sales, it's usually not very consistent how the sales are coming in. So my own personal experience was I joined our team five years ago. And prior to joining the team, I came from a different brokerage. And there, our practice was door knocking and cold calling. That's where we would generate our leads. And then for the lead, there's a process to converting that lead into clients. So clients would be those that are ready to go and ready to transact. We would open the transaction, open escrow, and close escrow. Now, my numbers were very different in my prior experience in the brokerage because I would reach out to 100 people and then for the 100 people I'll be door knocking, cold calling. And my numbers were for every 100 people I would reach out to, 30 people would start a conversation with me and then 20 of them would be willing to continue the conversation with me. But only one out of the original 100 people would be ready to go in terms of opening up escrow and entering into and closing that transaction. So where's my next deal coming from? My next deal would have to come from the second 100 people that I would have to reach out to door knocking, co-calling, and then building the relationship, and then finally getting to the point where they're willing and they are ready to transact with me. So that would be my second closing. So as you might imagine, it would take the third 100 and the fourth 100 and so on and so forth for me to close each deal. So in order for me to continue to have the deals coming in and closing sales, I have to work really hard to reach out to more and more and more people. So here's what's interesting. In real estate, you now we are building relationships and however, not everybody would be ready to work with us at the same time. So we would have to then spend the time to nurture clients until they're ready to work with us. So I got really, really busy nurturing clients, talking to new clients, and trying to generate sales in order to close a higher volume, higher number of closings. So here, it's very, very different within the current team because we're leveraging technology, we're leveraging system, we're leveraging processes and different people to take away the need of the front end tasks which was door knocking and cold calling. So there's no door knocking, no cold calling. And then of course, uh, the need to now nurture clients. So in, in the system, in a way that we're doing business, there's no need to do that, which means that here are my numbers through that. First year that I came into our team and I was a pretty new realtor at the time, I closed 17 deals in about eight months. And it wasn't because I was anybody greater than anyone else, but just simply we were leveraging a system and leveraging just each other, leveraging technology, and then also leveraging people in order to take away those tasks so I did not have to. And hence, I made the amount of money that this system allowed me to. At the time, it was about $450,000. So that was the average price of the market I was selling in. And because of the number of deals, I made close to $200,000, uh, which my family and I are just so grateful for. So at the end of the day, it really uh, was important that there's a system and there's a process that we can leverage to address the front end, which is bringing the leads, and then in the middle, nurturing, converting the leads into clients who are willing to work with us, and then last but not least, closing sales. So a lot of times a real estate agent will think this client, this is a client because this person wants to see a home and this person wants to see a three bedroom, two bathroom home tomorrow, one to three Main Street, 2 p.m. And they just go and show the home and they start there. So in order to distinguish ourselves to be someone that people entrust their whole family, entrust their loved ones and buy a home through, sell a home through, we need to act very, very differently. So how do we do that? When we're connecting with them, what's really, really important is dive much deeper into, it's not about the three-bed, two-bed. It's about the who, 
the person behind the reason they want to buy or sell real estate. So buying is a process, it's a journey. So it's a very emotional journey for so many people because they have to uproot their loved ones, their family, and then now they have to replant the family. So we don't look at this very lightly and that's the kind of attitude that's that's really, really important. It's an attitude to see the really, the reason, the who behind the reason, the who behind the why people want to buy a home. So what does that mean? That means instead of just thinking, oh, Mr. and Mrs. Buyer, I'm going to show you this home on the three main street because you're asking about it. And yes, I'm going to show you this home tomorrow at 2 p.m. Just like you asked me to do. We have to go above and beyond. We have to recognize that this whole decision, there's an emotional aspect to it. And then there's also a logical aspect to it. What that means is people will use emotion to be a reason. Because there's a who, there's a person that's tied to that decision. And the logical aspect is people who use data, who use logic in order to justify their decision. Now, as an example, there is always a pain, a pleasure that is attached to the person, the who, behind the reason, the why people want to buy. So instead of just a three bed, two bath, if we really cared enough, we would have found out that it's because little Johnny, seven year old little Johnny, is really, really upset, does not want to go to school. Because there's a big bully there and the parents are heartbroken they're heartbroken not only do they want to take the seven-year-old little Johnny out of the school they want to get out of the school district so what we as real estate like agents need to remember is that it's not a problem to rent at all because we have roof over our heads there's nothing wrong with living with your grandma nothing wrong with living with parents and having several families together because people still have a home and they're not on the street. Now what's really important is recognizing the, the reason, the pain in this case, the pleasure, the pleasure of settling Johnny, the pain of taking Johnny out, experiencing that every single day. Johnny is crying, he has tummy aches, he refuses to go to school because of the, that big bully that is at the school. That's the reason that the parents want to see one to three main street. When they come to us, they're gonna say, Sophie, we just wanna see one to three main street. We want to see it and we're available at 2, 2 p.m. tomorrow. So as a realtor, what makes us, what differentiates us and makes us a, a much different realtor, a much better realtor to gain that trust and to win that, the trust that family in order to want to sign on the dotted line that they want to hire me, Sophie Kong, and my team to represent them, to help them when they're ready to go, is I need to help them open up their heart to share with me their pain, their pleasure of why they want to buy and why. As an agent, one of the things that is really important for us to be able to deliver is very effective service and doing it in a way that looks very easy. But behind us, when we have a team to lean on, when we have tools that make us very different, than the average agent, that, that's what becomes the key, the crux of why people would want to sign on and hire Sophie Tong, myself, our team, to serve them and their loved ones. What does that mean? That means, as an example, rather than just submitting an offer with a highest price to beat out everyone else in a multiple offer market, we need to be able to win on terms. So as an example, instead of having the most expensive offer, our highest offer price, the terms being, can we make it a much shorter time? Our average, our team average, my own average in terms of transactions, seven days, 14 days, closing that escrow. And calling, we call this a good as cash offer. How do we make an offer good as cash? When, when there's a very, very short time, we can guarantee that close of escrow date to be right on a date, seven days, 14 days, we guarantee to the listing agent, to the seller. That's what makes it so important and so much more enticing, compelling for both the seller and the listing agent to want to work with us. Well, 
to be really effective, we need to be able to be really updated with the latest information and with the data, with the trend that's going on, with the options in lenders, different options, loans available to our buyer clients. And so in addition, California Association of Realtors constantly has been doing a great job in rolling out, implementing new forms, updated terms. So as a realtor, there's a lot of juggling involved and we're plenty busy if we do not have the benefit of a team of tools available to us to help us be very effective, very efficient with our time. So that's where the team is very, very important. That's where the tools become really important. The confidence behind knowing that we have all of that that's backing us up and that is supporting all of us. When we're able to deliver all of that, timing, recognizing challenges that our clients are facing, delivering the solutions timely, being efficient with the entire process, helping them win out multiple offers, and make it look very, very simple at the end of the day and meeting their heart's desire, connecting our buyer client emotionally and also on their terms to be winning terms, compelling for the seller to accept their offer over others. In addition, we will be winning with five-star offers, five-star reviews with everything that we are doing. And what these reviews mean is, in our world, in our team, we call this the currency of remittances. Five-star reviews, repeat clients, and client referrals. That's what we call a lifelong client system.